Hi, and I'm Erin, and we are Candy, our BTV. Mm -hmm. And today we are in Bar Harbor, Maine, and we are about to take a happy hour sunset cruise. Woo! I am so excited to be on a boat. We are with Bar Harbor Whale Watch Company right now. It's about 50 bucks. We're doing the sunset uh, nature cruise tonight. Um, they have beer on board and wine, some mixed drinks, mm -hmm. and chips. But the best part is we're gonna do a little two-hour tour. The first hour, you get mm -hmm. to check out some of the local nature. You might see some bald eagles, some porpoises. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows what we're gonna see? And then the, the second hour, that's when the the bar is really popping. They play some fun music yep. on your way back as you catch the sunset. Mm -hmm. And today is Kim's birthday. Yes. So we started off this morning here and we're gonna end her birthday here tonight on a sunset cruise. Are you excited? A sunset cruise of Bar Harbor. I'm so excited. It's so beautiful here. Uh -huh. We've been wanting to get on the water since we got to New England and now we're this doing boat. it. This is the boat we're on. Where are you at for the night? How cool is this? We're so excited. So excited. Come hang out with us guys. Let's do it. We are Kim and Aaron and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. KNERVTV, KNERVTV, sing it with us. All right, so our check-in is this way. They also do a lighthouse cruise, whale watching, a nature cruise, but we're doing the sunset nature cruise this way. So on this map here of Mount Desert Island, the route that we're gonna be doing is this yellow loop. Starts here in Bar Harbor. So we go all the way down here to Otter Cove. And then we're gonna go over here to the Egg Rock lighthouse and then we're gonna go through here like this and all the way around by the porcupine islands all right we're getting out of boats <laughs> look at this bad boy yes wow i'm so excited we got our sweatshirt in case it gets a little chilly make sure to prepare because you're out gonna be out on the water it's gonna be breezy to the top deck of the boat, but it's pretty full, so I don't think we're gonna be getting a outside seat, so make sure you get there early. Ooh, I see a cruise ship. Make sure you get here early if you want a, a seat up top here. I found the goods. Here's the prices of the happy hour sunset cruise. $6 domestic, $7 import, $7 wine, $8 mixed drinks. They also have regular beverages, coffee, tea, soda, chips, candy. So, it's pretty cool they have all this. Oh, you can even buy a blanket if you need to. All right, so we found a table by the window. Hoping we can just like hang out outside like two. This is our first time. I don't know, but I'm excited to in the water. Most of the people are out like on the very top, but we didn't get there quick enough for that. Yeah. We didn't know. If you really want to have control of where you're sitting, I would say get here as early as you can. <laughs> we ate there this morning for breakfast. We almost went on that boat, but they didn't have availability. Starfish Enterprise. These are all the lobster boats? These are the ones that catch all the lobsters? So, lobstermen look like they're all done for the day. The rules and regulations out here say that lobstermen cannot haul in their traps until a half hour after sunrise, and they must be done a half an hour before sunset. Plus, no lobstering on Sundays. No lobstering on Sundays. Wow, interesting. And now, take a look. The Bar Harbor yeah. Inn was built in 1912. Served as an elite society club. So the Rockefellers, the Morgans, the Pulitzers, they would all gather here in that circular room known as the Reading Room. <gasps> That's where we were today. So in the 20s, you remember from their your history book, the time period called the Prohibition. Well, Prohibition hit Maine first of all the states. 
the elite society that was here, they were having none of it. So. Anybody on YouTube? <laughs> Billionaire's Row. <laughs> DreamWorks Animation. DreamWorks Animation. So the guy who owns DreamWorks. Shrek, that's that's Anakin, who you gotta be. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Look at all this granite rock. Wow. You can see all the lobster traps all out in the water. The water is literally covered in them. <laughs> I'm assuming they're all lobster traps at least. <laughs> wow, look at this, Aaron. Look behind you. And it, the breeze feels amazing. It's not even cold. I know, it's I like in the 60s. Yeah, I did. High 60s. I am wearing a tank top and a hook in. Yeah, we brought our sweaters, but we don't need them yet. But this is amazing! He lost his own cottage in the process. No records exist of him afterwards, but we do hope he got rewarded. An attorney. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. and it becomes sand grains found here on, the, on Mount Desert Island. Now you see that nobody's really swimming out there. Mm -hmm. If you folks want to go for a swim, here's what I recommend you do. Run in as fast as you can. <laughs> go all the way up to your kneecaps and then turn around. And turn around. That's what yeah. we did. That's like what we did. Yep. Yeah. I wear a wetsuit. This is otter cliffs. So, Martin Scorsese is also known as Shutter Island. India. So much that he wanted to put a piece of it in his movie Shutter Island. So he chose Otter Cliffs here. Otter Cliff serves as the backdrop and on the movie poster of Shutter Island. This is on the movie poster of Shutter Island, that's cool. Otter Cliffs is also rumored to be the area where Mr. Samuel D. Champlain's ship ran aground. So when I say otters, I assure you there were no sea otters found on the eastern sea coast. That would be found on the west coast. I don't know if you can see them, but you see people rock climbing right here. That's so cool and crazy. Wow. Porcupine Islands over there. Porcupine Islands. So you will need to log 1,000 hours of monster I don't know about this sunset. It's a little cloudy. Welcome to Egg Rock. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm going to need your folks' help here with finding certain wildlife. Look in the water for any dog-like heads sticking in there. Or look on the rocks. Let me know if you see something that looks like a sausage with a smiling face. <laughs> it's a seal. Seal? Yeah. <laughs> you see any seals? Can you with the camera? We didn't bring our binoculars. We didn't bring our binoculars. Did you rent them for $5? Alrighty, folks. So this portion of Egg Rock that's sticking out close to us at our 2 o'clock. Like I said, sausage with a smiley face. We have a whole group of pinnipeds, also known as seals. Are those them? Can you see seals? I see something, but... Those seals. I think those are so, seals. From what I gather here, I'm seeing a lot Is of he waving? seals and a few harbor Maybe. seals. Oh my gosh, I want to so go the there. Gray seals. I wish I get closer. They do take advantage of the tides for hunting, foraging, and for hauling out to conserve energy. There's seals just like All popping in and out of the water. It's probably really hard to see, but they, they keep like popping their heads in and out. Like whack a mole. <laughs> this is uh, amazing. How do they recommend? Alrighty, folks. Picture Lee House or lighthouse. Bioshock Lighthouse. This is entirely something different. It was once regarded as Maine's ugliest lighthouse. <laughs> oh, we just passed dolphins, some porpoises. Oh, just jumped. Ah. Oh. Dang, you didn't even see it. Aaron was just came up with the beers and the captain called it out and I looked and it was jumping right here. Gotta take the camera out really, really quick. But Aaron, we got beers! Yay! There's deer. They were just walking in the water down here. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. Can you see them? There they are. You see the deer? Wow, that's so cool. That's the water. Yeah, they're like standing down by deer. Off at our 11 o'clock on. Yeah, look at that deer. What did you think about our sunset cruise? It was awesome. Minus the sunset. Well, we got to see a lot of good views of the sun, like mm -hmm. kind of coming down. It was beautiful. Now, if we actually had the full sunset, it would have been yeah, like 20 out of 20. It was but it was awesome. We saw a lot of wildlife. Yeah. A lot of it I couldn't film because it was too far away. Or we saw dolphins. Happen quickly. <laughs> Actually, on the way back, I spotted dolphins because we were at the front of the boat the whole time. So I spotted dolphins. So the captain called out for people to look. That was really cool. We saw a bunch of deer. Yeah. Aaron spotted some deer. Um, what else did we see? We saw the seals. The harbor seals. The, the harbor seals. So cool. I tried zooming in on that stuff. You know, we were on a boat, so a lot of the footage was like this. Not my fault. But it was beautiful. So. So cool. Totally we had it. our happy hour beers were $5. Yeah. That was delicious. What do we have, a summer ale? Yeah. I don't know what um, 
brand it was or anything, anything. I could not see the knob. The girl was like, well, one is this and one is that. I was like, Summer Ale, sure, let's do it. Sounds good. Five good. bucks. They did have some snacks for you, too, if you mm -hmm. really wanted to. You could bring a couple treats in your bag. Like, you can stand amazing. anywhere you want on the boat, yeah, along the railing, around the, the front. entire time. Yes, we didn't sit in the seats at all. We actually, we posted up some spots inside, and then once we were outside, Kim was like, go get our crap. We're, yeah. we're, not, we're not doing that. We're going to stay outside the whole time, and we did. And yeah. it was comfortable. I'm so glad you didn't get seasick. No. Kim contending it a little boat sick. But they had a meter and it says it was a smiley face, yeah. meaning that it was good. The water was, was a little calm today, so it was It great. was amazing. It really, really was. So if you're thinking about it and you're like mm -hmm. leaning towards it, I say if, do it. If you want to get any seats on the top or in the back of the boat where it's like open, you got to get here early. Yeah. Before, yeah. I don't know, maybe at least a half an hour before yeah. the boat. Shows. If you want to sit in the yeah. up top. But if you're just ready, if you can move around and really enjoy yourself and get the best views you can wandering around the boat, I would say do it. We had a great time. <laughs> Thanks for watching y'all. Yes, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit your like button. If you are new to our channel or you have not subscribed, please subscribe and we will see you in the next episode. Bye y'all. Happy birthday, Kim.